It's a really busy place to work. We've got mail coming in pretty much every other day. And when the mail does come into Bastion, it's always massive quantities, generally between 750 and 1,000 bags. Although in the run-up to Christmas, we're expecting to get dispatches of about 1,500. Well, I think the, the main thing is that for every welfare parcel that's sent to a person by somebody that they don't know, that's a parcel from a member of their family or one of their friends that they potentially won't get. The fact of the matter is that there's only a limited capacity for how much mail we can get forward. And so it's up to the battle groups to ensure that the personal mail gets through first and in a timely fashion. And then those welfare parcels get through as and when we've got space to do it. I think you can't really underestimate the challenge that the, that the units have to get their mail forward. They are obviously very conscious of the fact that it has a massive impact on morale and everyone loves receiving mail, but there are other things that it's more important to get forward. Ammunition, rations, water, all that stuff has to take priority. It's important that we send forward that mail that's from families and friends because at the end of the day, that's really what the soldiers want to receive first. I think it's fantastic that, mem that members of the public are really keen to show their support for the troops. But what I'd ask is that members of the public channel that goodwill in perhaps another way. Uh, there are many recognised service charities that they could donate to and there are a couple of specific organisations that are sending welfare packages out here and I'd encourage them to support them as opposed to doing it by themselves.